Uh, when we launched the brand Citroen in India, uh, the one thing that we promised was comfort. And uh, the first thing that uh, uh, the, when the C5 Aircross was launched in India, we spoke about the Citroen Advanced Comfort. Of course, uh, the vehicle is a different segment vehicle, but uh, the first thing that we spoke to you about was Citroen Advanced Comfort. And the vehicle well and truly demonstrates that. Uh, to that effect, the brand talks very honestly, uh, very clearly demonstrates what uh, the Advanced Comfort stands for. And, and uh, the customers have really appreciated the fact that whatever we have said is exactly what is there in the vehicle and vice versa. Uh, number two, now that the C3 is coming in, it's coming in a very different space uh, and segment and positioning spot. Uh, the C3 is, is, is purely a sub four meter hatchback with very strong SUV cords, be it the 180mm uh, ground clearance, large wheels that it has, a bonnet which is tall, seating which is uh, tall, theatre style seating in the rear with a fantastic panoramic view across. Um, and, and C3 now delivers a new meaning of Citroen Advanced Comfort, uh, which is for the young and progressive uh, uh, audiences that we're looking at in terms of targeting them in, in the country. The vehicle is configured to deliver the Citroen Advanced Comfort and, and part of that is definitely all the comfort that you get from the ride and handling, the uh, chassis suspension dynamics, the steering dynamics, the seating positions and the seat comfort inside and, and definitely it will be one of the best uh, in its category. Uh, on top of that, uh, what the vehicle is, is, is going to deliver is a styling which makes sure that the vehicle looks as if it's a part of the family. So the styling DNA flows from the C5 into the C3. Visually, when you put both the vehicles together, you can immediately make out they come from the Citroen brand, uh, which is so important for a brand which is young and new in the country and now entering the mainstream B hatch segment for the first time, that we have that synergy between the vehicles so that people can see and visualize that these are Citroen vehicles. And, and that's obvious, right? Um, yes, uh, on, on, on the specking levels that you are saying, um, it's all got to do with where we are going to be sweet spotting the vehicle. Uh, I don't call it segmentation because segmentation is all for all of us. The consumer doesn't see it like segments. The consumer actually sees it like a sweet spot. This, this is my budget and this is where I'm going to go and look for a vehicle. And he translates that to an EMI and then he looks at what is he going to opt for. But at the same point in time, What's really important is the way we have configured the vehicle, both in terms of powertrain options and the feature and content which is there. I mean, the vehicle is, is fairly well contented. It's not that it doesn't have content. It, it has very uh, good content on it. And, and it's focused towards a certain sweet spot. I actually, uh, I would like to add just uh, um, one point. Uh, you know that we started to conceptualize this uh, platform and the C3 is the first car for this platform since uh, 2017, I came over there. And we, we wanted to, we said we, we are going to develop this platform, which was new for the group the time being, which is still new for the group of Stellantis today, first in India. Conceptualized, developed, engineered in India, for India and by Indian and for Indian customers. For Indian customers, means something. It means that we took uh, time to listen to the Indian customers, the one who are potentially buyer of this car, buying this car. And obviously, we define a list that must do, or we have, it's important, but everything is important. But what we try to do is to make sure that what it is essential because everything is important. But you, in life, we need to distinguish which is essential than important, because everything is important. And saying, let's, let's select some key items, listening to the customers in India, we're not talking about the other country, with looks for them essential. And for this one, be better than the other one. We cannot do everything. We have just to select the one that we we, for these, these customers, we are going to eat the ball, but will be better than anyone else. 
or what, I, what, what we analyzed. Comfort. And this kind of segment, we need to deliver because comfort is Citroën DNA. And we demonstrated it with the C5. And you remember with the comfortology survey, etc., 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 to keep the, the connected thread with the C5 SUV and the Citroën DNA, we said, and people said, we want a car which is comfortable. Driving, you know, an urban, whatever, no easy. So we said, and they said we need to be comfortable. And comfort is the Citroën DNA. So we said let's invest in comfort. And within this kind of segment or sub-segment, we want to be better than the other one. It is why, it is why we have uh, used the know-how of Citroën, obviously, as a suspension. And I know if you notice, but the, the, the seat, the form of the seat is much better than anyone else. And so far the feedback we got and our test already, we know that concerning this kind of road handling and comfort in seat, we are better than this kind of competitors. Absolutely. Because this was very important, essential. Not important, but essential. The second point uh, as other specification. We are in India. You know, I'm living in Chennai for six years. It's very hot. And people said, oh, I want something which is a kind of making cooling very fast and hold the car. So we said, let's, on this specific point that has been, have been highlighted by the customers, being better than everyone else. And I believe that we are better because we have invested more. Thirdly, they said, uh, they, they said, or the trend, the trend is showing about this youngster because we are talking about people uh, between 28 years, 28 years old and, and 30 or something like that. We want a, a kind of SUV uh, uh, look. Alors, we do not want to pretend what we are not, but we did our best in terms of design or injecting. You know, the grand clearance is higher and the, the seat on the back is higher on the front in order to give this kind of panoramic view with a big shield. And they said that is important that even we have a, a kind of premiumness. So we worked on it because we started from scratch. So from scratch in India not with someone else. We, we, we try to do it. Then, you know, in India, people are very connected. I'm not, uh, uh, not uh, telling you something that you don't know. And, and what was important, he said, uh, we want a big screen. But we don't want something uh, vertical because it's very difficult to, to right. turn around. But uh, rectangular. This little detail, what we so-called pay, pay attention to the detail, is very important. So we decided to invest Money. Alors, yes, you're right. Maybe some other features should be done. May, but if we want to, 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 to give a kind of premiumness of this vehicle that the design and stylist is giving, being focused and investing, I could tell you some other things, but being better on this one than everyone else, which is essential compared which is important, then we have a life, 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 time, life cycle time to, to adjust. I think. It was the kind of what we said in French, the parti pris. We decided to go for it. And the ruminess, huh? the ruminess of the. Yeah, the ruminess well, it is what, what, again, you are, you are right mentioning some features probably are not there. You're right, right. But we wanted on some, something that we understood as essential for these customers we should be better than anyone else and this kind of segment obviously and and just to add to rollo i think customers very clearly and especially during the pandemic they've told us simplify the buying process don't give us 25 30 trim levels and you know it's very difficult for us to choose because quite a few times we're not going to visit and, the showrooms and, and alors, that is what yeah he's right absolutely and the second point what we listen to the customers again the youngster you know you're younger than i as well of course they want to personalize. And you know, in, in India, more than some of the country, where the population is so young and in perpetual motion, perpetual upgrading, they want to add on something fresh, something new, little by little, we don't need, all, all the time. It is why we developed Express Your Style. I see you have the knickers, you know, you know and, and when people could, uh, we were going to give them, right from home, to the configurator, uh, to uh, 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 define their own car. Even changing every six months, you know, the color mood. 
you know, the Xalor mirror, etc. They can do it. The graphite, the surf mode, etc. That will be easy to do and very affordable to do. And the vehicle is pre-configured to accept yes, all of those things. So, so you don't have to drill holes and make all those things. And that's what we said to the customer, I said, because they are young, they, 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 they want that. And they want, you know, in India more than some other country, they want something new all the time. That's it's another thing that we listen to the customers. It is why we define this kind of customization, easy to understand, easy to fit. Another thing that I should say, the car is easy to repair. That's because a very important one, said, by the way. What the customer said, when I change the parts, I don't want to change the whole panel. You, you know what I mean. And they wanted a car which is easy, easy, easy to repair. Easy to repair is easy to access. And when you change the parts, you don't change the full module. It is why when we conceptualize the car, we started to get in mind the, the, the total cost of ownership and don't replace a panel when only a little part has to be replaced. If you look at open the boot, you will see, oh, it's yes, it's simple, but it has been done simple to, to, in order to, to make, make it, it easy, easy to repair. A and very the, simple and example and to cost. highlight what Roland said. That's For the example, example that's we, when we, tem we took time. Again, we, we, we listen to Indian customers, huh? not uh, Swedish or uh, Finnish or Russian or Chinese. We're talking about Indian. So, for example, I mean, a very simple example, air filters normally take, you know, bolt-on caps. We don't have bolt-on caps. We've got clip-on caps. And, and what happens is when the vehicle goes into service, you can just unclip it, take out the air cleaner, put in a brand new one or clean it, whichever way, and clip it back. You don't have to bolt it on because that is cost of ownership because labor costs on the service sites have gone up, right? So if I'm unbolting something versus unclipping something, I'm saving time for the consumer. You, you understand the, the spirit uh, of the conceptualization of the car, which is uh, still giving a premiumness in terms of look and feel, and at the same time be very focused about essential, but essential where we need to be better. and keeping the total cost of ownership in mind. Well, it is true that you, you might find, and you will be right, that maybe some of the, everything important is not that, yeah, but... There's always a chance of... Always a trade-off somewhere, right? Yeah. And you always have time to gain in later. Of course, that's part of the life cycle management anyway. Uh, the network first. So the network that we had, like we explained, when the Citroen brand came to the country, with a lot of India First initiatives, the Atabadak philosophy of uh, digitizing the complete consumer journey, uh, which is anytime, anywhere, any device, any content philosophy, that starts much earlier uh, in terms of the search, configuration, and then finally walking into the showroom. So that part of the entire uh, journey we've digitized. Uh, and, and there are multiple other processes that we have put in into our network, which basically, obviously, new team, new dealers, new product, new brand, Everything has to be, uh, you know, tested and made sure that it's right for the consumer. With the C5 Aircross, we were covering 80% of the CSUV market. With the 11 outlets and 10 cities, that's the coverage that we had. Now, as we're getting to the C3, we're entering the mainstream BHAZ segment. All those systems and processes that we've initiated, which were India unique, are already tested and tried. So there was a purpose for why the C5 Aircross came in. It was a flagship product from the brand. The brand was getting established. All the systems and processes were all established in the country before the C3 uh, comes into the market. As the volumes grow, of course, we launch with 20 dealers in, the, in, in uh, July and 20 service outlets. But at the same point in time, now we're not stopping because the CQ platform has come alive. This is the first product. So now that the products come in, we start expanding. We'll close the year with 30 plus dealerships. And that's only closing this year. As we go to the next year, we start, or we in fact continue with the expansions because the next models from the CQ family will come in, the EV will come in. Now to your question on automatics. Uh, obviously, um, when you relate that question to an urban consumer and therefore an automatic, I would say we are not just sticking ourselves to the, the urban market. As we expand dealerships, you will see that we are going beyond the 10 key metros where we are present. Obviously, we are going beyond that to uh, so, um, as far as pure automatic is concerned, it's a part of the life cycle management. Right? We are focusing on establishing the C3 
very humbly grounded to the fact that we've got two power plants and they were one for uh, uh, the mainstream buyer, the double for the slightly more enthusiastic buyer with a six speed uh, transmission, that one's with a five speed transmission and, and at the same point in time both are available at launch. The automatics are part of the, uh, the life cycle management. However, also you must consider the fact that no other manufacturer on an ICE platform or a common platform is bringing the EV so quickly, right? And, and therefore, within a very short period of time, when we launched this vehicle in July and we were saying next year we're ready with the EV. So you will have to give it to us that it, it takes time to configure all of this. In the back end, we've got Kosur, we've got uh, Thiruvallur, and we've got our two R&D centers and the ICT hub, which is providing all the software support. A lot of work is going on at this point in time in terms of bringing a lot of things on the CP platform. Like Rolo mentioned, 95% localization, not an easy uh, task. However, we spent that time of five years in developing that. Now it's right. coming alive. So some things will happen during the life cycle. Some things will happen sequentially. We prioritized an EV right after the IC engine launch. So you will have to give it to us that there are multiple things that we're bringing to the market. Uh, we're being uh, quite uh, humble on that one, but yes, a lot of work is going on at, at this point. Uh, what we are going to do what we said in 2019 uh, from this platform uh, we are going to be able uh, to launch a new model every year for the next four or five years and when I say a new model a new body style I'm not going to tell you today because we want to keep uh, the surprise and and because it will, it will be surprising but for one thing is sure we'll be in the main strip segment with a real breakthrough, if I may say, or new models, okay? But uh, we will unveil uh, this kind of new uh, body style uh, um, uh, later on. Let's uh, first of all to savour or appreciate the C3, eventually the next uh, EC3 soon, and then we will meet again very frequently. <laughs> it's difficult, uh, we, we, you know that's we are, we, we are not used to say, oh, voila, we will be at X percent uh, or X volume. Uh, why? Well, it depends what, what scale of time we are talking. Secondly, uh, you know, look at the COVID time. It has been a bit chaotic. Now we have this kind of, uh, kind of crisis with the war in, in Europe. So we have the ship shortage eventually getting worse. So it's difficult. But what I can tell you, what I can tell you uh, is that the Stellantis India, as I said, uh, uh, is committed to India. We have invested so far 1 billion euro. We have uh, built up a strong footprint in India. We have three factories, Stellantis. We are already exporting from Osur uh, gearbox and the big numbers uh, to Europe. Uh, Osur being one of the most cost efficient factory within this kind of gearbox cluster. We have two R&D. We have one ICT hub. We have a global purchasing hub that we are developing with uh, exporting parts. And we have a strong uh, supplier base, uh, which is fundamental. So why I'm saying that is because we have developed an ecosystem, making us, uh, making us if I may say, competitive. Uh, giving us some flexibility with a high rate of localization. So, uh, uh, and uh, we have applied as well to the production linked incentive uh, for EV uh, developed by the government. We have applied. It means that we are going to invest. So, so, well, I'm telling you that is, is to show you that we are committed on long term. Uh, and the most important point so far we are concerned is to have a continuous growth year after year, continuously, with quality, with good product, with a good network, with a good quality sales and after sales. But the, the, what is more important is to see that we are going to grow every year, as we started to do compared with 21, and 2020, even 2019, with profitability, because and you know, not, there are not so many WM who are profitable in India, even after two. But what is important with this ecosystem is to, to make us 
the house cells unable to have this kind of continuous growth, not having up and down, but continuous growth with good product, blah, 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 and profit. Because profit is good in order to inject this kind of part of profit and your new technology, new life cycle management, which is going to ensure, to ensure the growth continues. What is important is a trend. We need to, and we will be in the, in the mainstream segment, but we need a year after year to grow with profit and to re-inject a new product in the segment. This is key in not playing up and down. Well, uh, to answer your question, it is flexible to play sub four and plus four. Okay. Um, I will. I will not say well beyond like you're saying. But okay. Yes, you can play sub four and plus four.